Hello and welcome to this episode of Animal World Live with me, Brent Leo Smith, where we delve into what's happening in the wild. Uh -huh. And hello and what an exciting week it's been out here in the wilderness. Of course, the world is on shutdown and we are going to be finding out quite shortly whether we are going to be joining the rest of the world on lockdown. So it is a very trying time. And for those of you um, who might be um, financially affected um, and have been laid off, whatnot, we, our heart goes out to you and hopefully the world will be a better place and we can all work together to make it a better place. So hopefully the coronavirus makes us all better people and we learn to help each other a little bit more. But more importantly, guys, don't forget to self-isolate and one person can spread it massively. But now back to the wildlife. So with coronavirus, there's been a lot of fake news going around there. And um, a lot of you have seen the pictures of uh, supposed dolphins in the canals of Venice. Bah, fake. Um, that was actually in Sardinia. Um, uh, the swans in Venice have always been there. Uh, the elephants in China have always been there. So it, I think it's really, really important as we speak about not spreading fake news about the virus and its sere blah, 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 <laughs> severity, etc. Um, the same goes in, in sharing new, any form of news. Uh, fake news often leads people down the wrong path. I would love for those stories to be true. However, a month of corona is not going to reset thousands of years or hundreds of years sorry of um, bad behavior by us but hopefully it will help us look at the world in a far better way and make huge improvements when it comes to climate change and just looking after our planet okay let's see what questions we've got in um has anyone else picked up any interesting wildlife news uh, around i would love to hear from you um here we go let's have a look so we've been quite busy. Obviously, we've also had to self-isolate to a degree with our core group. So that's the people you live with and, 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 and spend time with regularly. So we're quite lucky that we all live in the same house. So uh, we've been self-isolating and spending some wonderful self-isolation time in the bush. Um, a lot of you might have seen that we went down uh, to the Blyder River. Um, there we go. Sinak, what is the original host of Corona? Um, you think they are bats. What is your message to people, those who fed on the animals? Uh, well, that's quite a difficult one to, to cover all the bases there, you know. Uh, it, it looks like that bats are definitely the, the, the original host of the coronavirus. Whether it was eating bats uh, or other animals would have picked up their from their feces. So quite a lot of these heavily... Uh, sort of infectious diseases. Uh, bats are the hosts. It doesn't neg negatively affect them. However, uh, their feces and droppings and, and urine and stuff, other animals can uh, contract these diseases or and from them. And in a lot of the cases, they are completely harmless to the animals. It's only when they mutate into humans that we can have quite a few problems. So bats are probably the, the, the host. Um, and the uh, I think in the, the correct terminology for this is the reservoir. Uh, and you can either get it by eating bats, but other animals that will feed under trees or fruit trees, particularly uh, fruit bats, um, are one of the main hosts of things like Ebola and Marburgs and other horrible things like that. And other animals can actually pick it up from feeding um, from below those trees. I think there was even a case of a horse in Australia that picked up one of these really bad hemorrhagic uh, fevers from bats. And that was just from grazing under a tree where the bats roosted. Well, thank you very much, Yvonne. Um... Here we go. Um, let me see if we've got any other questions coming in here. Uh, such lovely comments from everyone. Um, we, 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 we thank you for all your comments. Um, yes, Shamsung, zoonotic diseases are intensely scary. And some of the biggest human death, uh, deaths in the world have, have come from uh, zoonotic diseases. Um, the, the Spanish flu, the common cold. Um, fortunately, the world is in a better place these days to be able to deal with these. Thank you, Marcy. Um, no more bats for breakfast, indeed. 
Well, Mars, how are the lodges and staff supporting each other without any tourist business? Uh, well, fortunately, it seems like the world has heeded the tourism call and most people are postponing rather than cancelling. And uh, we do really thank you. Obviously, we have a lot of very close friends who all work in that industry and we worked in that industry previously. So, yes, we are, we are holding thumbs that this will be cleared up and those of you who have booked wonderful safaris or holidays to wherever in the world uh, are going to be able to go on them at a later date once the pandemonium has calmed down. There we go. Noel, you're exactly right. Um, SARS was actually a coronavirus. There are many different types of coronaviruses. They are not uncommon. Um, and uh, I think one of the earliest cases, I was reading a scientific paper today uh, about a coronavirus from bats was in 2007 from China. There was actually a scientific article on that. Um, so, yes, there are many different types of coronaviruses. This one just seemed to be particularly uh, more aggressive in, in terms of its transmission rates. Yes, Chris, thank you for very much for bringing this up. I actually have that right here. There are massive rumors. Um, there was a rumor in Hong Kong yesterday that you can get corona from your pets, from your dogs. That is not true. Um, where's my dog? I'll give her a hug and a kiss if I have to, to prove it to you. You cannot uh, get get corona from, from your, your pets. So there has been some stuff that people are dumping their pets at shelters and stuff like that but you cannot get corona from your dogs so again it's so important that you've got to be careful about uh, fake news at the moment so just please be very careful uh, one of the best ways to check fake news is what i do when i see something that looks too good to be true or sounds a little bit too sensational um just re-google it don't trust the 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 the, the the website or whatnot make check if it's on any of the more well-known reputable news agencies um, or national geographic or uh, and stuff like that just double check that is is a way to, to sort of avoid the fake news from the wildlife front okay cool wasn't that exciting so now we of course have uh, been not out as much as we've been because we've been busy working on being able to bring you a lot more stuff and i'm, I'm going to touch out about that a little bit later but of course our live bush cams are always out there always catching the wildlife so let's see what they've caught in the last few days How cool was that? Our first African Harrier Hawk on the cameras, or a Jimno Jean. And we had some really great stuff. Those lovely rhinos, a little couple of month old uh, calf there. Um, for those who are asking, it is a spotted eagle owl. Um, last week we had a Verose eagle owl on the same camera, so that obviously that uh, boss comes being used by multiple owls. And of course, the lanky individual next to me who's brushed his hair again for the first time um, in, since the last time he appeared on camera. Yes, I think that was the last time I did it. I brushed my hair. <laughs> is Brian. So, yeah, hello. welcome Brian. Nice to have you back on Animal World Live. It's now, good to be back, yeah. Of course, for those of you who haven't watched before, Brian is a 
training to to be me basically yes i walk in his shadow every day <laughs> well he makes a shadow for me so i'm in the shade he's much taller than i am um maybe we should get him to stand behind james henry one day and then we can all have a laugh um okay <laughs> there was a very strange noise coming from over there um but okay so brian what have you been up to what have you learned this week well, it's uh, only the end of Monday. So. <laughs> I forget. <laughs> um, so since you guys saw me the last time, it was on Friday. Uh, I have been relaxing very hard because we do work very hard during the week. But I've been working equally hard on scientific names explained. And I'm so excited to show you guys what Zander and I have been working on. And it's going to be an, a very special project to both of us, I think, because you know, we put in a, a lot of hard work and we're bringing you some very, very good footage, some good content, very relevant information. So we hope that you enjoy it. Um, it's going to be... We're learning. And we're learning. We're learning. So we, we went on a little adventure this weekend to the Blyder River, uh, not far from yes, here. And yes. it's absolutely magical there. I'm hoping to get back there to get some footage of Pell's fishing owls at some stage. But we went there and you might have seen the little... We were playing with our, oh, our lead lenses um, and uh, with the fig trees and that. And on the way back, we uh, had a little competition in the car. <laughs> and basically that was me barking out scientific names and Zander and, and Brian and Vim. Well, VM got VM got more right than anyone else, but I yeah, expected that. Yeah. Um, and we were, yeah, it was, it was fun. It was an hour of abuse. Yes, basically, <laughs> it wasn't an hour to get home. Um, can you remember any of them? Yeah, the ones that I learned, I can remember. Okay, I won't test them live. Up, okay. <laughs> give, give them a chance. Okay, let's have a look what else we've got here. Oh, thank you, Marcy, and thank you, Patty. I think it was Patty. Yes, Patty W. Thank you so much. We really appreciate that. And Valentino, thank you. Um, Ah, sketch cat. Brian, what, mm. what's the scientific name for a pangolin? Ooh, he hasn't you, learned you that one yet. I'm, I'm going to save him. I'm going to uh, save him. Um, yes, we do love our owls. Uh, Samsung, we, we are working on, on virtual drives and stuff, but we, we, we're still a little bit far away from that. But trust us, we are working on it. Um, hopefully, Cenac, we will get to show you Pearl's Fishing Owls. We, we will go look to, uh, look for them to film. Um, so, yeah, very exciting. So, now, of course, you've all seen me do scientific names explained. And for the very first time, young Brian Woodroff will be hosting Scientific Names Explained. Hello, everybody. My name is Brian, and this is another episode of Scientific Names Explained. Today, we'll be discussing Loxodonta africana, which is the African elephant. These titans are the behemoths of the animal kingdom. They have an average size of three meters tall and can weigh up to a staggering six tons. Now, the heaviest elephant ever recorded came out of southern Angola and he weighed a whopping 11 tons. But the size and height combination doesn't allow them to run, so they shuffle. Even then, they can still shuffle up to 40 kilometers an hour. Their brain size is surprisingly comparable to that of humans, and this is one of the reasons why they are one of very few creatures in the wild to actually recognize themselves. At the end of the day, these enormous giants are gentle and have a keen sense for family. If we look at their scientific name, Loxodonta africana is Greek. Loxus meaning curved or slanting shape, just like their tusks, and odontus, meaning teeth. And that gives rise to the diamond characteristic enamel of their teeth. And believe it or not, elephants have four teeth in their mouth at any one time, but six sets over their entire lifetime. The second part of their name, Africana, simply means of Africa. Now you know more about Loxodonta Africana, the African elephant. So, I've got a little trouble here because she was trying to attack a warthog through the fence who's on his way home. So I say, hi, trouble. Yes, so isn't that cool? So Brian's going to be hosting Scientific Names Explained and uh, there'll be another one coming out on... Zander? Next week? 
next week yeah well, we want to try and do one a week we're going to try to do one a week from now on so very very cool so a nice nice easy one to start with um the elephant are you calm now are you going to behave can you go do you want to go okay okay or you can sit good girl okay let's see what um other questions we've got while Chloe is keeping us company um i know she's done now she's tired of being off she goes um so very cool so it's going to be a really nice fun way for brian to 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 learn a bit more um about the scientific names oh thank you darcy ann and thank you vicky thank you so much guys um and i can see people commenting um about the paypal etc guys anything counts and whichever is the easiest way for you to contribute we we appreciate it all so please don't feel the need to have to go through a lot of effort we're just very happy that you are here watching us uh, and 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 being part of the painted dog pack so Yes, and um, speaking of that, um, it was Betty and Alan Brooks uh, have kindly donated the first live camera setup, and we're just waiting for the rest of the components to get in, but there we go. So there is the camera. Thank you very much to Betty and Alan Brooks, um, and this will become uh, the Betty and Alan Brooks Ellie cam or the Brooks Ellie cam and it's going to be going to a very very exciting spot those of you who watch my Instagram go have a look at the story um, I cannot tell you more we're busy in the process of um, organizing a deal so hopefully within the next two weeks or so uh, corona depending so we're just hoping that all our logistical support doesn't get shut down because obviously we've had to order um, all the stuff and uh, the cameras have arrived but the solar panels and batteries and other thingamajigs and hohos that VM puts together to make those magical live cameras work are still en route so we're just hoping we're going to be able to get everything um, in before we on complete lockdown so we're hoping to have a camera our first live camera up in the greater Kruger National Park but I can't say where yet so you're going to have to sit and I, I mean you can see I'm excited I'm literally bouncing with joy we're going to be able to do that um I see we've got quite a lot of few questions about updates on certain animals um um my bye -bye was seen this morning but with only one cub I cannot confirm it was a very brief visual and she disappeared um we're going to be going out really early at about 4 30 tomorrow morning to see if we can track her bucket and bb work my dad is sitting with them right now um with the lionesses and uh, not far from his house um and the boys are around i'm not sure exactly where the boys are at the moment um sandy bend hasn't been seen in a while um but we have uh, had a new female leopard that's been coming in to the sort of northern regions um hope as uh, she's quite skittish we haven't managed to catch her on camera yet um N noel how easy is it to get amazon to you um I, charles will help you with that just pop an email to info at painted dog tv um and i'm i'm, I'm not sure I am a complete Luddite when it comes to most of these things. Um, oh, Melita Pack. Melita Pack was seen this evening hunting uh, in the southern reaches of, of Blowbank. So doing very well. Hoping we're going to catch up with them this uh, this week as well. So we are going to be out from early, early mornings uh, and in the afternoons um, when we're not going to be here doing the live shows. So we're hoping to have lots of updates for you. Now, I'm very, very, very happy to say that um thanks to you and this is a real big thank you to all of you to all our subscribers all our supporters our patrons um our donors uh lead lens uh, everyone who has made painted dog possible over the last year uh, it's it's been an absolutely incredible ride and i'm not going to end just now i'm going to take the next couple of minutes i just want any questions or comments from you guys i'd love to hear um some feedback i just want you to know it has not been possible without you and we really appreciate all the amazing support we've got and we cannot wait to grow with you and growing we are slowly but surely um, we're going to make sure that we are able to deliver you quality real truthful wildlife content for hopefully ever well, until Vilm and I fall off a tree or something. Okay, let's see what um, uh, questions questions you've got. Um, oh, Betty, your Wi-Fi went down. I was just saying the first of um, your cameras has arrived. Um, so from Betty Brooks, um, and we're going to hopefully be installing it as long as the rest of the uh, equipment arrives, Corona depending. So one one of the, actually the biggest um, uh, 
biggest issues we, we're looking to face during corona as actually uh, access to, to, to supplies. So uh, with the world shutting down and whatnot, getting things like solar panels and cameras and cables and that is, is, is proving a little bit challenging. But we are very versatile here at Painted Dog and we like to make a plan. Okay. Uh, Mars, I'm loving all you're doing. It's exciting to watch you find your stride. Thank you. Um, Marcy, thanks, Betty. Be Betty definitely rocks. Um, Jamie is in lockdown with her mom in Johannesburg, so unfortunately um, we're going to find out tonight whether she's even allowed to leave Gauteng. Um She's been waiting to hear what happens with uh, the coronavirus. Her university is closed, so um, we will find out more about that later. Thank you so much, Safari Lover. I love how far you, you have come. I try not to miss your shows. I do, do always reach rewatch. Keep it up. Thank you so much. Let's see what other things we Yes, please don't forget to thumbs up the video. Um, there we go. Noel, thank you for reminding everyone. Um, yes, I'm, get, I'm getting there, Shamsung. I'll get there. Um, what else have we got here? Um, so it's, it's, it's so great, and I'm, I'm just so unbelievably thankful um, to have all of you guys here and again please I'm, I'm this this next sort of five or six minutes is is all for you uh, I want to hear your comments your questions um, if you have any questions about the crew about Charles about Vim about Zander um, we are here now and uh, this is this is your time um, for the support and stuff you've given us over 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 the over the years um, over the year <laughs> and of course the support you gave us when we were still with Safari Live uh, thank you, Michael. We are trendsetters. Can't wait to see where this takes you. Um, it's great. Uh, Marcy, Marcy, and a special thank you to Marcy. Marcy has been an incredible supporter of ours since day one. So, Marcy, thank you very, very much. Um, it's great to be part of your success. Very worthwhile investment. Your cinematography is amazing. Uh, thank you. Um, uh, Patty, thank you for taking us out of the cluster of crazy. Your consistency is appreciated. Thank you. Noel, who is Zander? Zander, come here, Zander. Zander um, was also known as Eggsy. Um, he worked with us at Safari Live. Um, he has now joined uh, joined the pack at the, at the Dog Den. Um, Zander is a fantastic cameraman and amazing editor. So a lot of the little clips you're seeing now um, to give Vim and uh, myself some more time to be out in the field filming. Uh, Zander has taken over quite a lot of the editing from Vim and, and we all still work very closely together. But so Zander is enabling us to spend more time out in the field, getting more footage, uh, which makes gets more work for him. <laughs> um, Mars, we will definitely uh, be continuing interviews with Skype. Vim, can I mention Friday yet? And Wednesday, okay, yeah. okay. So um, as I say, we've got we got three episodes. I was going to try. Uh, maybe I'm just going to make you suffer for a little bit longer about Wednesday and Friday. No, I'm joking. So we've decided for the Wednesday episode of Animal World Live, we're going to focus on countries that I've lived and worked in. So we're going to be speaking about a very special place to me on Wednesday, which is Gabon. And we've got some incredible footage from when I lived there, and some photographs. And um, so. Get your mind around rainforests, gorillas, chimpanzees, elephants on the beach, and all sorts of other amazing things. And um, so start thinking about what questions you'd like to ask about the Central African rainforests. So that's going to be um, going to be quite exciting. So that's going to be Wednesday. And that was a question. Where was it now? I've just lost it. It was about Skype. I think. Yes, so yes, we will be doing more, more Skype. And um, some of you might have caught, um, I did an Instagram live with um, Suyash um, uh, yesterday and um, appeared on his Instagram channel. We chatted a little bit. Suyash is based in India. And I really, really, guys, you need to go check out his channel. Go check Safari with Suyash. His work with Tigers is incredible. And he is going to be our special guest on Friday. So we're going to be talking big Indian cats on a Friday with Suyash all the way from Delhi. He's going to be joining us via Skype. Um, so actually, you know what? Just to get you excited for Friday, um, VM is going to do some magic in the background and we're going to give you a little taste of what Suyash gets up to. So it'll be very exciting to have um, Suyash. And uh, we actually planned to work together and Suyash was going to come out and film with us and we're going to go look at lions and eventually we're going to go with him to Tigers. But of course, uh, all travel plans have been put on hold for the moment. But this is going to be very, 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 very cool. Um, so 
Let's have a look. Uh, Bush Baby says, Vim, you're doing a great job on camera and directing. Well, Zander's on camera for Animal World Live. Vim is FC. He's talking to me in my ear. He is doing a spectacular job. Uh, Sketch Cats, yes. We are planning to... Um, for you guys to have a little bit of Tristan and Ali. Um, they obviously live just down the road, so there's lots of stuff in the pipeline, which is also very, very exciting. So we're gonna we're gonna be slowly but surely expanding. And one of the things we've been very careful is not to try grow too quickly. Sorry, go again, Vim. Okay. Um MJ G N M Gal, um, yes, I would love. I, I will definitely start looking to people from North America and South America about jaguars. I'd love to have someone chat about wolves. So yes, yeah, we're going to definitely expand. And Corona and, and due to social distancing is is in in a very small positive way. Obviously, no ways I'm saying Corona is positive. Um, it, it it sort of made us with Grant because he wasn't allowed to be here in person. Um, start setting up the system that we are able to use Skype, etc. So we're going to be able to get guests from all over the world, other parts of Africa, Kenya, Uganda, all over the place. So we're actually very excited about that, and uh, hopefully it's just going to go from strength to strength. Now speaking about. Friday, Vim's got a little thing, and this is the little promo for Safari with Suyash. Okay, sorry. Sorry, we're having a bit of a technical difficulty. Vim is going to try to uh, fix it. And and he's going to fix it, and we'll we'll watch it again just now. So in the, in that moment, sorry, it was having a bit of a glitch. So we're going to re redo it, and then we'll pop it up again shortly. Um, yeah, so it's quite exciting, and I'm very excited to to actually have guests um, from all over the world uh, discussing their different things, and hopefully one day those guests can actually come out and enjoy and join us on painted dog out in our little piece of paradise and maybe one day we can go join them okay vim says he's got it all sorted so let's have a look at the the promo for safari with suyash So we're very excited to have uh, Suyash with us on, on Friday next week. Uh, this week. I get so confused with days. Um, if I didn't have Vim, Brian and Zander to make sure I knew where, what day it was. Because I don't know whether it's a Monday, Tuesday or a Sunday. Um, it is not a cheetah shirt. It is a leopard shirt. Growl. Um, yeah, so um, let's have a look what we got here. This, Arla Moore, Necessity, the Mother of Creative Problem Solving. Exactly. Uh, the jackals in the boma are doing very, very well, uh, ready to go. Um, we're going to pop in and visit them at some point. We need to go readjust uh, the uh, camera at Boss Camp since the baboon moved it um, while he was playing with it. Um, Barbara, the next episode of Tale of Two Mothers is in production. It will be coming at some point. I cannot give you an exact date yet. Um, uh, Woodstock seems to have joined us, but late. I'm here. I'm new here. How often are the shows? Well, Woodstock, the live shows currently uh, during the the Corona pandemic are Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 6:30 Central African time. Um, we will just keep a lookout. If you go to Painted Dog TV on Facebook, on Instagram, the times. Uh, We've got a whole bunch of different time zones that we cover. Uh, so wherever you are in the world, hopefully you can work it out from that. So just have a look at our other social media. Um, we should be able to cover. And welcome, Woodstock. Great to have you here. Lovely to have a new viewer. Um, uh, Valentino, our new website is currently busy being upgraded. It's going, it's going to, to go live quite shortly. Um, but yes, so uh, there are team bios, etc. And the new website will be out quite soon 
But for to stay up to date, just have a look at our Facebook page, our Instagram, our Twitter. Um, that's the best place to uh, have a look at the uh, or get the information about when the next live show is, when the next Tale of Two Mothers, um, or um, have a look at my personal Instagram, at all my personal Facebook, those of you who are friends with me. Oh, yes, before I forget, I get, I'm getting a huge amount of friend requests, and people are getting a little bit upset with me because I'm not accepting them. It is because I did not realize um, when I entered into this 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 public sphere um, that you were only allowed 5,000 friends on pa Facebook. So I actually cannot have any more friends um, we have made a public profile page so that's probably the best place to go like and follow and again all the information will be there so um, at Brent Leo Smith on Twitter Facebook and uh, Instagram and at painted dog dot TV uh, for the painted dog company Facebook pages uh, Instagram Twitter etc you can find us all there and also actually while I'm thinking about uh, this we're going to try sort of start a little uh, a little trend. So guys, we'd love um, when you're doing posts, please start using the hashtag Safari with Brent and the hashtag Painted Dog TV um, and the hashtag Animal World Live, which we're sitting on right now. So yeah, we're going to see uh, if that works. So please, if you are posting onto the various groups and stuff and screenshots from what you're seeing, uh, please use those hashtags. We would mostly appreciate it. Um, Fair enough, Valentino. Facebook's not for anywhere. Um, not for everyone. Uh, Mr. Tuvok, are we able to send some support to Wild Earth? We, 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 do, we are sending them all, all the support. Obviously, we still have some very close friends um, who are currently uh, working there and, and that. And I know Graham. Graham will make a plan, and, and I'm sure they will be back at, at some point. And obviously, our heart goes out to all um, the extended Wild Earth family, which a lot of us are, are part of. So we hope that Safari Live or Wild Earth continues. And um, we are very close friends with all of them, and it is a very sad situation at the moment. Uh, Marcy, the third one was Animal World Live. I have the third hashtag. Um, can someone pop up a link to the web, uh, not the website, the website's not ready, but the Facebook page and the Instagram and stuff like that. We've got guys on it. Um, we'll pop up, pop up a link shortly. Um, but yes, yeah, so, um, it's, it's, it's very exciting. And as I said, we, we our heart goes out to the rest of the world and, and, and the rest of South Africa at the moment. Uh, we're just very, very grateful that we are in a place where we are able to share with you and we are still able to get out and, and work. And I know a lot of people aren't able to do that. So we do, we do send our, our best thoughts and wishes to everyone who is being massively affected by this 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 global pandemic um, and hopefully we can just bring a little bit of joy um, with some wild from the wild and um, yes um, okay oh and um, okay so guys just have a look on my social media I'll, I'll pop, I'll pop um, Suyash's details up after the show so you guys can can check it out but now we are getting to a very very exciting time I might I might get emotional yeah guys I, again we reached 10,000 viewers for the first uh, 10,000 subscribers on YouTube and um, today or last night Fiam will tell me last night and we just really want to thank you guys for the most incredible support um, you are truly like family and um, hopefully one day I will get to meet a lot of you in person whether it be out here in Africa or wherever you might be in the world and uh, we just again our patrons our, our sponsors uh, uh, and anyone who just likes shares subscribes does whatever you can it's just a really big thank you to all of you so what we've done to end this episode of animal world live is we've got a little sort of a bit fun a bit sad but very exciting bunch of highlights that we've experienced over the last year and we've been so lucky to be able to experience it with you good night and much love and please like share and subscribe What a magical roller coaster it's been starting Painted Dog TV with my dear friend Vim. And now, just over a year down the road, we're on 10,000 subscribers.
We would not have been able to get there without your support. From the live bush cams, to bucket the lion cub, to the tale of two mothers, it has been an amazing ride. VM and I have got to experience a huge amount of things that no one else in this world ever gets to, from catching lions, to rescuing lion cubs, to darting cheetah, moving them back into the reserve, releasing wild dogs. It's been an amazing ride, and we're glad you've been on it with us. We wouldn't have been able to do it without our conservation partners from Endangered Wildlife Trust, Rhino Revolution, Elephants Alive and many more. And we hope to keep sharing those important conservation stories in the future. And of course, to the live cams, six live cameras, hopefully a few more coming shortly, right in the heart of the African bush, bringing you live wildlife 24 hours a day. We would not have been able to get there without you, our Patreons, our sponsors, our subscribers, and we just want to say a massive thank you for helping us reach 10,000 subscribers.